All right, what's going on guys? Happy 4th of July. Uh, here's the deal. I'm gonna go to the range tomorrow because I'll be off all day and it'll make it a lot easier. So today what I decided to do was I'm gonna get my Rust-Oleum spray paint in the dark walnut color, satin finish. And I'm gonna spray paint my Bulgarian Circle 21 mag. All right, it's a surplus mag. And I'm going to spray paint it so that it'll kind of match the uh, plum colored stock. Uh, here's the AK with the plum stock on it and the Bakelite mag. It looks really sweet. Um, I can actually find uh, magazines that come in the uh, plum color and they're like 40 bucks. So I already have this one so I decided I'll, you know, I'll just experiment with this and see how it comes out. So uh, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. So be right back. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get some double O steel wool. And we're just gonna scuff the whole magazine so it's a little bit scuffed up so that the uh, Rust-Oleum spray paint will hold onto it better. It just makes it a better uh, finished product. So just real lightly, just kinda go over the whole gun or the uh, magazine. I've done this to uh, two of my previous AKs with the uh, woods talks and this is what you use, you use steel wool to uh, get it ready to be uh, stained and for the uh, finish as well my first AK was a Wasser 10 and I did this to it but then I got rid of the Wasser 10 and now I have the uh, Polish underfolder which you guys have all seen and I did the same thing to it the steel wool works great. It's like, it's not as rough as sandpaper, so it doesn't really remove the material, but it just cuffs up the surface so that this spray paint will have something to hold on to. Because if it's a smooth surface, obviously this spray paint is not going to be as durable. So. I think I got it pretty good. I just want to brush it off. It's actually better to have a brush, but I don't have one with me. So I'll just use my hand. As long as there's no shavings on it, you're good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the assembly because I don't want that to get spray paint on it. That's actually kind of a plum color right there. So I'm gonna get that out of the way. And I don't care if the uh, tabs get spray paint on it because it'll just wear off when I uh, put it in the gun. So, pretty much we're just gonna apply maybe three or four coats. I like to shake it up for about a minute. Oh wow, thing popped off. All right. All right. Now, it's better to put multiple light coats rather than one big heavy coat. So the first coat we're just gonna put on kind of light. Okay. On this side. Alright. 
Now we'll let that dry for a little bit and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. And then I'll just keep doing that until I get the color that I want. All right, be right back. All right, this side is uh, dry to the touch. So now I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. And make sure you shake it up in between sprays. All right, so. Okay, we'll let that coat dry, and then we'll scuff it up a little bit more, and then put the second coat on. All right, the first coat is dry to the touch, so now I'm just gonna lightly scuff it up, and then apply a second coat. Um, yeah. I couldn't go to the range today, so I figured I'd make some video. I hope this isn't too boring. I think it's pretty cool. You know, it's something that you guys could do uh, if you don't want to spend the money for a uh, plum-colored magazine, because they're like 40 bucks, you know? So if you have a couple of black ones, you know, you might as well try this. So far, it seems to be working pretty good. Now, um, after I'm done spray painting this, I'm not going to really handle it or use it in the gun for a good, you know, four or five days. Um, because I, even though it's dry to the touch, you have to let the paint cure on the uh, magazine and let it harden to its full potential. Uh, so that's just a little heads up. Alright, so now we're going to start the second coat. And the second coat can be a little bit heavier than the first one, but you don't want it to be super heavy. Light coats are better. Make sure you get the edges and then we'll let that dry and then do the other side and then the second coat will be done. Well that stupid coat's taking a long time to dry. I guess the second coat always takes longer and that air conditioner came on at the worst time but I'm getting a little bit bored so I thought I'd give you a close-up of the uh, Waffenworks AK-74 with the new Plums Talk. I think it looks really good. And there's the lightning cut. That's how you know it's an AK-74. Just an AKM or AK-47, this talk will be the same. But uh, the AK-74 has the lightning cut specifically so you can tell it's an AK-74. Beautiful dimples, nice rivets. This gun is just put together so well. And yeah, it is unloaded. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see in there, but trust me, it's unloaded. Now these are all the mags I have for it. Uh, the East German Bakelite, uh, Tapco, and I have this one loaded up. Uh, this is the uh, Bulgarian Circle 10. And then this is just a uh, Pro Mag. It's kind of cheap. Uh, I haven't used it yet, but uh, I've heard that Pro Mags kind of suck. But it was only 20 bucks, and you know, I just picked it up. So if it's reliable, I might even spray paint it to match the uh, stock. There's this side. It's pretty cool that it's all numbers matching too. 
There's that muzzle brake. AK-74 muzzle brake. It's pretty cool. First AK I ever had with one, so. There you have your little side mount for any optics. I'm not gonna put optics on it. I might get a sling for it though, and a cleaning kit, but that's, that's about it. Yeah, everything else. It's pretty much the way I want it to be. Always kind of wanted an AK-74, so it's pretty nice to have one. So, all right, when the second coat's dried, uh, I'll be back. See ya. All right, we're gonna give the magazine the second coat on the other side. I think it's turning out pretty good. All right, be right back. All right, the last coat is pretty much dry to the touch. Um, it's still not 100% dry, but it's dry to the touch. And it doesn't match 100% perfectly, but it's pretty close. Um, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So when it's 100% dry within a few days, uh, it might dull up a little bit. If not, I could get some 4-0 uh, steel wool and just buff it lightly to kind of make it a little bit more dull. But I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but in person, it looks very close. Uh, the magazine's a little bit darker, but it's really, really close. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let this thing dry for a few days, four days, whatever. Uh, yeah, and then I'll put it back together. And that'll be that. So, just wanted you guys to see that. And I think it's a pretty cool video. So, happy 4th of July. And hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow at the range. Alright, see ya.